fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. See, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Lake Forest, California, USA, Big. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Big body kick land. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. So suddenly he'll change his stance. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. That 
Side strike blocked by Lee. And just misses with that big right hand. Unable to connect with the right. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Outside leg kicks. Nice punch by Lee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just a slip there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Big call from Punch Land. Now we get back to range. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Just misses with the jab there. Nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Lee. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with beating. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Round two straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, straight right. Punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, big left hook there. It looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Put your hands on fire. Come on. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, big punch land. Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice. Hands high, hands high. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Not there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Right hook to the head block. Oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Punch over the top. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big head kick! Intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. All right, has the guard closed here? Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, that's the end of round number two. Let's get back out here and work on that cut. Slice the open good. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again.
Oh, slips to avoid the right. DC. Great time to land that punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his punch. Well, went for the spinning kick there. Telegraphed it a little bit. No good. Oh, single collar tie here. Can all these shots count? Oh, the ground and pound is there. Good, solid strike on the ground. Three minutes to go in round three. Sound strike on the ground. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh! oh he's struggling with the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Blocks that strike. Just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Good punch. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Misses with a left hook there. Big kick. All combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Great punch landed with so much power. Nice. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Look at the whip action. Oh. Goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 17 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout. Man, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.